so now you've made it to the third part. And man, have I drawn this out. But a lot to say and a lot to talk about. As we left off before, um, we were at Build and Battle. Build and Battle was probably the last time that I worked with Hoonigan officially that I can remember that I did any kind of like programming with them. Love you Vargas guys, killed it. Amazing stuff, amazing show. And then I went on to my own stuff. And you guys can look at my Instagram or follow my Instagram. We'll put a link there. I kind of just did stizzy stuff in my own, my own deal. So during that time as I left, it wasn't the first time that Hoonigan started going more corporate. As, when I left, they hired some guys. There was a guys called the Bobs is what we called them. Right? I don't know if that was their names. But they were more of like a corporate thing. And that's when you guys saw it going towards corporate stuff and then sh not shortly i think it was a year or two after dan left and they had moved to the new location when they moved the new location it was kind of like the the whole yard the yard at the old location was badass it had the up and down ramp and a real narrow like long thing that the guys could do their goofy ass drift stuff drift stuff on but it kind of separated the men from the boys because I am definitely not even a boy, I'm a child. That stuff that they were doing, if you've seen a guy do what was called the man line, which is like all the way down the front and then like back down the ramp and then around, dude, those dudes could drive. That dude could absolutely drive. The people who go to the yard now where it's all flat, <laughs> I mean, my 13-year-old kid, there's videos of him at, at Adams driving that 240 in the backyard <laughs> on a flat fucking ground in a big parking lot. That takes no skill at all. Put yourself back at that man line stuff. The people who did the man line and ran the man line, those dudes were drivers. And when they switched from that place to the big flat place, it was all at corporate. It was all real corporate, corporate, corporate. And that's where I probably didn't know. I know I didn't fit in it at all. So I, I knew at that point, I probably more than likely was not coming back. And I was happy with that, you guys. I'm very happy with uh, working at Stizzy and building my stuff. It's fun. I wouldn't be able to have all the things I have right now today without them. So again, I'm gonna re-enlist. Wow, this thing's popping like Papa Chulo. Jeez Louise, I hope we're not running out of gas. Ah, uh, wow, that's scary. It's my son's truck. I don't drive it very often, so that's not good. What are we just flooring? So the bobs and all of them, ooh, we are out of gas. That's exactly what it was. Oh, 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 oh. we got an idle. Dummy, he's that dumb, he leaves that much gas in it. It was sloshed to the back and ran out of gas. Oh, oh. Anyways, sorry. Um, yeah, when they moved from this place to that place, you can even read in all the comments, it kind of got flat, you know, it was, kind of like the area they were going on. It kind of got flat and I was gone. So I was good. Now fast forward all the way till this year, just this last year. I've kept in contact with everybody at Hoonigan's. I've talked to Vin, I've talked to Brian, talked to Gary all the time. You know, like they're still really good friends of mine. So when they asked me to come back for the 43 car burnout and do the Ken Block SEMA 2023, I was absolutely excited. I was thrilled that I was gonna be at that event with all those great people. And I was excited to bring my car out at whatever expense to me it was gonna be. Because it's not free to take my car 
and they weren't exactly offering to pay for it either so I needed to make this a worthwhile event to go have fun so now they do pay me for the day don't get me wrong they do pay me for the day but they don't pay you for the value of what you're doing or the damage you're doing to your car because even in that event I did two rear brake lines a radiator and a PDM PDM has to do with moisture and that was almost a thousand dollars and just bull crap damage and then you got to think of spark plugs oil and gas for the car that's another five hundred dollars so even if they pay even when they're paying you five hundred dollars a day for your time it doesn't come or near nearly close to the expense of the car that you're taking there or what you're doing so I'm invited to SEMA I get a call by Wally Wally's World and I get a call by Chris and um, they say come out we're gonna do this festival blah 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 SEMA da 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 I'm excited I'm gonna have so much fun we're going to SEMA so I show up to SEMA and this is day one and I'm gonna go get gas and I come back and we'll talk about this all right guys so we're back at it just talking about um, going to SEMA 2023 like I said I had been done with Hoonigans for a minute. They had got their new guys, their new Snoopy guy and all their characters and they built all those unfinished old vehicles that they never used. Um, I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> Just had a long time to get my stuff together and get my stuff working. So when they invited me back again, I was excited. I, I really was going there with my best intentions to have a good time. We loaded the car up took it there, um, unloaded it at SEMA Fest, not SEMA because there was an overload parking, which was kind of cool because at that point I could have got to drive my car down the strip to go from SEMA to SEMA Fest. <clears throat> um, well, when I got to SEMA, I checked in at our booth that I'd normally checked into from years past, and there was a new person in charge. Um, the new person, really short, I'll say that again many times. It's like, I don't remember people's names at all. In fact, I give people nicknames all the time because I can't remember their names, but I can remember that name. Um, so I met Karen uh, and she was doing the passes and all that stuff. And from what I understand, if you go to Wheel Pros now, um, Karen, I mean, Julia Short is Brian Scotto. So all the changes and all the things that are going on from to uh, say SEMA, which is, January 1st till today all those pushes or all those non videos or nothing that's being happening Thank Julia short from a wheel pros um, Thank you again probably why I'll never work there again. No, I know why I will never work there again um, She's the head honcho. She's Gary's boss um, I meet her and she proceeds to tell me that I'm not in the show that I'm a guest so I assume she doesn't know who I am, not like I'm anybody anyways, but I'm like, okay, she doesn't know who I am, I'll come back tomorrow, she's probably super busy. You know, this is her first time on the job, I'm assuming this is her first SEMA show because Brian Scotto and all of them had always took care of the past. Same with Wally, if you guys deal with Wally and Chris, they've dealt with the, the show in the past. So. Um, Go, I'm gonna come back on Tuesday. I'm gonna walk around, enjoy the show, and come back. Basically, I come back to the show on Tuesday, anticipating that I was gonna be hosting or helping out, doing some mic work maybe, and then definitely bringing the tea bucket to the SEMA side of the show. And uh, I got proceeded to tell, told again that I was just a guest. That um, don't ask again, basically. Your guest, you're not getting your, your credentials to go into the area where I wanted to go into. Now, bigger reason why I wanted to go into this area versus just hanging out with all the guests was I had just had surgery. Um, prior to 2023, um, in February, I came to find out that I had carpal tunnel and tennis elbow. And we'll get into that further down the road, but I was having a surgery on my elbow. In fact, the very first surgery for this elbow for tennis elbow and it wasn't really great for me to be going and driving and doing stuff three and a half weeks or four weeks after my surgery but i was like you know what i'm going to do this it's chem blocks thing i'm going to just brace it up cover it up and act like nothing's there and go do it well when she told me i wasn't going to be in that show 
I didn't take it very well. I kind of was like, you know what, you know, screw you. Thank you for treating me like that. And then I like blasted her on Instagram. Well, well, I don't care. Sorry, Julia Short, not sorry, Short. Um, and I pissed her off. So moving forward, we went to SEMA Fest, which was ran by now Chris and Wally, which was absolutely insane. Met super cool people from Canada. Um, also got to work with Blake Wilkie again, got to work with BJ Walden, got to do the 43 car burnout. We can do like something, there's shit on the internet for that. And that was it. And that was at the end of the point of when I knew I wasn't going to be doing anything with Hoonigans at all anymore. Um, come to 2024, you guys haven't seen me on any this versus that. You haven't seen me on anything at all. Well, that's because I pissed off the short. You guys could all email wheel pros and and ask her, you know, why she's such a cunt. I mean, a bitch. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to say any of that. Anyways, that's why I'm not there. It's like her or me right now, which I don't give a shit. So I'll be me and Julia Short, you go run Hoonigans into the ground like you're doing. Great job. So now let's go on to part four, which we're gonna talk about why I'm broken. Uh, I mean, why I'm broke and why I'm retired.